Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the 2020 Genesis GV80. We're adding every option available by the manufacturer to find out if it's worth it. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up, like, or commit all the way and subscribe. The Genesis GV80 is uh, the first SUV by the Genesis brand, uh, which is essentially Hyundai. Um, this is considered a mid-size SUV. Uh, to me, it looks similar to a Bentley. But the overall uh, impressions that I get is I like the styling. Um, it looks really, really good. I'm pretty sure people are going to ask, you know, or want to know what this is. And when you talk about price point, um, this to me is just kind of like an entry level luxury brand. Um, but at the overall, it's a great looking car, and I'm excited to see um, how this performs um, over time. Uh, I'll be using a random zip code for the build. Please feel free to drop yours in the comment section for my next video. All right, let's build it. Okay, so they have uh, a rear wheel and two all-wheel drives. Um, I mean, this is an SUV. Um, my expectation would be all-wheel drive. Um, although, I know that uh, there's a lot of people out there that would... Um, you know they buy the SUVs and they you know it's their uh, everyday grocery getter or you know whatever but I think that um, for this vehicle um, at the price point I think that um, again it's it's um, it's an entry level brand but to me this uh, the Genesis is um, it equals quality um, I think they they've nailed the the styling it looks good. And I think that um, if you're seen driving this or if you see this out in the wild, this is you're going to want to know a little bit more about this car. If we just take a quick look at the interior, it looks like it kind of just um, borrows from the other um, uh, cars that they have uh, in their lineup. So uh, the G80, uh, G90, so on and so forth. Um, but I mean, it, they do this very well. Um, it looks like the materials are high quality. Um, the screen is massive and it, it just looks like, um, they really took their time in developing this and it looks great. So we started with a base price of around $49,000 and the total cost to add every option available came out to around $72,000, which is a difference of $23,000. Is it worth it? You be the judge. Please add a comment, LSS to the channel, and thank you.